next bout of the evening gives us three round kickboxing under 71 kilograms. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Pat Rocket New Ross, presenting Tommy Carr. Referee Stephen Murphy brings those fighters to the center of the ring. One final word of instruction. And we should be just about ready to get things underway. So we're off. Whelan taking the lead, pushing his opponent back into the corner. Leading with some nice kicks. Cogley looking to escape that corner, throws out a few shots just to get his opponent on the back foot. Now trying to throw those flurries, find himself in the corner again. Turned his back momentarily in that exchange because he overthrew. Finds himself back in his own blue corner, nice left high kick. Cogley eats a left hand in that exchange. Adam Whelan in the southpaw stance. Looking to land that left high kick. Both guys exchange and trying to find a home for the shots. Just, just yet nothing, in, nothing significant has fully landed cause problems for the other fighter but give it time both guys finding the range a little bit now now the hands of Cogley starting to cause problems for Whelan Cogley just slips out of the way of that charge and that front kick and trying to set up those combinations couple to the head couple to the body Cogley pressing the action a little bit now, trying to get himself on that front foot. Goes with that sort of Superman punch there. And Murphy Stephen Murphy breaks him up and they're good to go again. Cogley lands a right hand, a left hand, and there is the end of the round. So round two. Just about to get underway here. They're straight out to the action. Whelan opens up with the first shot. Cogley just steps off that center line. Fires back with some hands of his own. The shots from both fighters that started this second round carrying that little bit more venom than we saw in round one. Cogley landing that big kick to the body. Cogley just stalking Whelan a little bit at the moment, trying to open up those shots, those opportunities, looking for the gaps to emerge in the guard of Whelan, but nothing, nothing given just yet. A couple of feints out there just to gauge the distance, and then engages, but they end up in a clinch, and the referee separates them, and we go again. Referee calls time momentarily just to have a, a word with Cogley about dipping the head. Gets them ready to re-engage and we're back in action. Big 
great kick from Cogley to the body. Steps off again, so the one from Whelan doesn't land with the same impact. Lovely hands from Cogley. A couple of impactful shots in that exchange. Head hunting with those hands again, although a couple of wild ones, they both missed. The right hand seemed to carry a little bit of weight behind it. And we're back again. Cogley will be growing in confidence a little bit after landing some nice impactful shots in this round so far. Walks straight onto that left hand of Whelan, but that big right hand from Cogley finds a home. And a big left hook at the end to finish the round strongly. Seconds out. So our third and final round is underway. Could be quite even on the judges' scorecards. Difficult to know. Both rounds have been closely contested, but Cogley was having some great success with his hands in that second round. And you can see that's where he wants to get back to again. He he's got his eyes on the head of Whelan. He's looking to close that distance so he can start throwing those hooks, those overhand rights. Walks straight onto that front kick of Whelan. Now unloading the hands, goes to the body, opens up the shots to the head. Finds himself in a clinch momentarily. They'll separate and they'll get back to it. Warning for holding for Adam Whelan. We're back in action. Yeah, that left hand from Cogley landed again. And again, beautiful left hand over the top. Cogley has grown confident in throwing those hands. He wants to just close the distance and lead with everything he can. Right hand, left hand, body shots, head shots. He's having great success now in these last two rounds with these shots. Those are stinging shots to the body. They drop the hands of Adam Whelan once you land a couple, and once those hands start coming down, Cogley is confident at coming in over the top and landing those hooks. Whelan just firing back gamely now and trying to keep Cogley off, and Cogley has been pressuring non-stop in these final two rounds of this bout. And it's clear to see Cogley has a slight power advantage those shots are carrying a little bit more weight. And there we have it, three rounds in the books. Great scrap. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this bout for your winner by unanimous decision, Tommy!